Coastline Calvary Chapel is a part of a group of churches, a fellowship of churches called Calvary Chapels. They started back in the late 60s, early 70s around the Huntington Beach area with a man named Chuck Smith. Chuck began to reach out and see God do great things with uh, hippies and surfers and young people during that era. And the Lord really used him to sort of launch uh, the modern contemporary Christian worship. So Calvary Chapels has that kind of roots. I, I think right now there's probably over 1,700 Calvary Chapels uh, around the world, including U.S. and you know other places outside of the U.S. 1,700 is about the number. Um, some of the distinctives of Calvary Chapel, uh, one would be expository teaching. I think most Calvary Chapels you would go to, you would find the pastor teaching verse by verse, chapter by chapter, through a book or through the Bible. And the reason for that is we believe that that's how the Bible was written and that's how it should be studied. It's kind of like if you took a letter and I sent it to you, you wouldn't read the end of it and then the front of it or the beginning of it and the middle of it and try to make sense of it. You would read it from the beginning all the way to the end and you would understand it within its context. Some of the other distinctives of Calvary Chapel would be things like healthy sheep reproduce. So we don't have giant evangelistic programs or things like that, although we are strong in evangelism, but we believe as the people, uh, as the Bible calls us sheep, get healthy from taking in the word and being in a balanced teaching situation, that they'll naturally tell other people about Jesus and so the idiom healthy sheep reproduce. We believe where God guides, he provides. So we don't have a heavy budget push. We don't put the thermometer up on the stage. We don't you know, make people do pledges and things like that. Uh, we believe, hey, if God is guiding, then he will be providing. And he seems to do that in amazing ways. Another one that's pretty simple, one of our distinctives is that worship is vital. So you'll see us give a lot of time to, to worship. And what we mean by worship, of course, it's, it's multifaceted, but the singing and the songs that we sing on a Sunday morning are not to be performance oriented, but they're, they're meant to be pretty biblically based, theologically correct, and give opportunity for people to express their hearts and their soul to the Lord in worship. So we, we put a lot of emphasis on worship, just like we do on teaching the scriptures. Because our, our philosophy and our thought is this, that when people realize how much God has done for them and how much he loves them, they fall in love with him and then they just naturally want to serve him. So we keep the focus on God and what he has done for us. Most Calvary chapels you will find the where the pastor is the one who planted the church and he's been there most of his life. And so you don't start off looking for a big salary or going to the next church to you know, take a step up the rung, so to speak. We really believe that God has called the pastor to be a shepherd, um, not a hireling. And then one more final thing. We believe God is more interested in the minister than he is the ministry and that he's more interested in you than he is all the stuff you can do for him. So, so, you know, all the things we all go through in life and what happens in the church, that God is shaping and fashioning us individually and as a body, because God is more interested in our heart and our spirit and who we are and changing our lives than he is what we can produce for him. God is an amazing God. And we are a part of a church group movement, so to speak, called Calvary Chapel. Certainly we're not the only one on the block, but this is who we are, and this is what God's called us to be, and the part we're called to play, and the giant, really, outreach and commission that God has given to all churches to go into the world, preach the gospel, and make disciples. Mm -hmm.